Welcome to the newest RV interview. I am so excited to be here with Jill Chalvis. She's one of my favorite people. Uh, not only is she super funny, we email back and forth. Jill and I talk sometimes in the cone of silence, so you guys won't even know the secrets we've shared. And um, I'm a super big fangirl. I think I've read every single book of hers, including Lost and Found Sisters, which we, we have with us today. Uh, but I was one of the super lucky people who got to read an early copy which makes me feel extra, extra special. With Lost and Found Sisters, it clearly it stands alone, but is there, the town setting is so awesome, it's so much fun. Are we going to see other people set in this town? Well, I tend to set my books in a town, the series in a town, and I didn't intend to go back. This was supposed to be a standalone, and I fell in love with the town, Wildstone. So, so did I'm, I. So I'm definitely gonna go back. I couldn't help myself. Oh, awesome, because I know readers will love that because that's what we've sort of come to expect from Jill Shalvis' books. There's so many, um, and I'm terrible with names and titles, but so many awesome settings that you come up with. And so you're reading one book and like you recognize the sheriff because he had his own book. You don't have to have read his book to enjoy this book, but you know that he had a story or, you Well, that's you know, the beauty, and I think you write the same way. When you write a series, every book you put in that series can stand alone. It's really important I do my to best. me mm -hmm. as a reader that I do that because I don't like to come in at the beginning or the middle of a series and have to go back. So I, as a writer, I try to make sure that no reader has to feel like they've been left behind if they start at book five or six. But this happens to be book one, so they can jump The very right beginning. In. Yes. When is that one out? It's July? Um, in two weeks. Two weeks, June, awesome. June 20th. Okay, so it's sort of a July release, but it's at the end of June. Yeah. yeah and I, I have don't July know. in my head for some reason. Well, June 20th. And I'm signing it here, actually. So oh, awesome. I have some early yeah. copies yeah. here. Yeah. So I'm Special excited. for REGT yes. 17. In fact, I never got to see this until I was here, so that's how new it is. Oh, so you get it. It's like you get to touch the <laughs> book. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's a beautiful cover. Thank I love you. it. Typical for you having a pet on it. Most yes. of yours seem to have pets on them. Well, this is Coop. He's 12 years old, so oh. it was important to me that he look old. Sometimes they don't always get the dogs right, but they got Correct. it right this time. Yeah, often they don't get the yeah. pets right. Yeah. It's so frustrating because readers, who are they going to tell? They're going to tell us. <laughs> yeah, they're right. Well, who's that I, I had a dog written in. It was a great big monstrous dog, and they put a little white puppy on the on the book. And it was a big monstrous black dog. Did you dog. get letters? I got tons of letters mm -hmm. with people saying, who's that dog on the cover? And I wrote back and said, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> no, where they found that dog. dog. <laughs> that wasn't the dog in the book. I don't know what that's about. Yes, yeah, so I have to give William Morrow credit. Yeah, the sure. They really got. Yeah, it right. they got the dog right. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And and this the whole setting on that is pretty. I like it. Well, it's actually kind of set as in my favorite place in the whole world, which is Avila Beach, California. Mm -hmm. And so I set it just inland from there, and I changed the name to Wildstone just so that I can fudge with whatever exactly. I want to fudge with. <laughs> but it's a very real place to me. See, I always do that. I always change because I don't want anybody to write and tell me you missed a stop sign on the corner of something and something. I know. No, I didn't because I and made up will, that corner. And they will tell you. So <laughs> yes. I'm also in the Heartbreaker Bay series, which right. is set in San Francisco, and this is the first time I've ever set a series in a, actually a real place. And the really pressure, oh my God, the to pressure. To get everything right. Yes. And we love readers. I absolutely love my readers, but they catch every little every detail. Every little mistake. And that's okay, because I also hear about all the good things, which I mm -hmm. love. I it mean, makes up for any negative you get, all the wonderful yes. ones. And your readers absolutely love you. Thank you. I posted a picture of just your banner, me pointing at your banner, and all these people, oh, I love Jill Shalvis, oh, and I so wanted sweet. to scream, like, I know you do. <laughs> 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 One of the fun things I love about it, you, where you live, I love the pictures of your area. You got really hammered with snow this year. So this was like a hundred year mark for us in Tahoe. For snow? Snow. Um, I, we've lived there 20 years, never seen anything like, like it. Like the snow. You could step out our second story window and have to climb up to get out of the snow. Oh my gosh. Lots and lots and yeah. lots of snow. So, so what did your dogs do? Snow. Oh, they're in heaven. I have two Labradors. They plow through yeah. it? <laughs> Yeah. Can you want to you want to tell your dog's names? Well, we have Frat Boy, who's my eighty-five pound black lab baby. He Beautiful he's, Frat Boy. Yes, he's 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 eight now or seven, seven or eight, and he thinks he's a baby, so he sits in your lap, yeah. you know, and makes your legs numb. Yeah. And when we have a baby, um, my husband got Alpha Man got his own puppy because Frat Boy is mine. Yeah. So he got a white lab, and her name's Callie, and mm -hmm. she's also almost frat boy size now yeah and she's eight months old or something like that getting up there mm -hmm. and they just all day long and adventure then your, after adventure. one of your daughters does fostering of animals yes. right so my oldest daughter lives so in this San is Francisco. another reason why I love you so much oh. because I'm a huge animal person yes, you are. so and then you're a huge animal yes person. so we're bonded yeah. for that yeah um, my oldest daughter lives in San Francisco and she works at the S San Francisco SPCA and she mm -hmm. fosters she started out with kittens she has puppies but she does like the really abandoned babies where you have to stay up all night and bottle feed right them every and, two hours or yes, something and she's yeah. remarkable she's done like seven 75 or 80 of these. That's wonderful. And you know, you do that out of your own wallet. Like you. Right. 
and um, so she's amazing. So you got a wonderful daughter too yes. then. Yes, yes. And then when you write, you don't necessarily sit at a desk. I believe you told me I you don't even have sit. a desk. I don't even have a desk. <laughs> we have an office and there is a, my husband made this beautiful desk for me. I never sit at it. Oh, uh, we should just take pictures <laughs> with I it should. then. I should, it's beautiful. Yeah. But um, I work on a laptop, i um, ADHD and I move around so I'm, at the lake, at the river, we have a beautiful, huge yard, and we're the last house on the street, so it's open mm -hmm. forest. So I go to the cliff where I can look down and see the river, or you know, wherever my I've bed. I've seen that on your paddleboard. On my paddleboard, yeah. yeah. Um, I've seen pictures of you walking past the the, the uh, bear doo Yeah, oh, yeah. You know? We have a lot of bears this year because of all that snow mm -hmm. we had. They're waking up and they're really hungry. We had a very long winter. Yeah. And I ran into a bear just yesterday. Oh no. They come to our trash. Did he say hi and no. then go about his business? He said, get out of my way. <laughs> I was like, no, no problem. problem. <laughs> <laughs> On my way. I'm out. And what do the dogs do when they see them? Uh, Jake, my frat boy, um, he runs. Good, thank goodness. But he gets in front of me and yeah. runs like yeah. my we used to have a dog ashes oh god I love you're, on your own, yeah, you're on your own yeah you're on your own and she would get between me and the bear my old dog would and protect me not not frat boy man he's out like, you're on your own you deal with the bear yeah. you chose to live and here good not luck like, yeah. and, and make it back by dinner yeah his motto is i, I don't have to be fast i have to be faster that's than right <laughs> i just have to be the second fast i mean yeah. you know not the slowest so when it's super cold outside and you've got all that snow you still bundle up and go outside I do. right i do um I just like being outside, yeah. so I, you know, Freeze I have all the views. gear. Yeah. Yeah. And you, are you able to write in gloves? Yes, because they make gloves for cold. For you can still do screen yeah. and stuff. So cool. Yeah. So it works for me. I prefer to write at my desk. I can write in an airport or hotel room if I have to, but I've never written desk? on a cliff. Yes, I like my desk. You, you live in a beautiful area too when you're at the well, lake. Well, I like my desk to face the pond uh -huh. or to face the lake. So, so you know, you with, at the lake house or at home. So yeah, so I like to see nature and the water and I get distracted with the squirrels and the birds, but uh, but I work but well like with distractions. Yeah, I, I don't like to be, my husband at our new house that we're having built, my husband's desk will face a wall. And I'm like, how, how in the world can you do anything facing a wall? But he's not doing anything creative. He's paying bills and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, right. you know? so yeah. I guess if I had to do that, I'd face a wall too. I don't know, punish myself with well, it. Well, sometimes they think it might be better for us if that's what we were facing because I'm easily distracted by what I see. But I write well with distractions, yeah. don't you? I mean, if I, if, I'm, I if I get bored, then I'm bored. My so. life is a distraction. I still have people <laughs> in my house, <laughs> the offspring. Yeah. <laughs> the, and the pets. And, and the, the pets, yeah. yeah. That's fun. All right. Well, I think this was really awesome. You know, you're one of my favorite people. Thank well, let me so ask you real quick. How yes. many books do you have out this year? And other than this, what's the next book so out? So other than this, I still have the Heartbreaker Bay series going. Um, Accidentally on Purpose just came out a That's month right. or two oh, I love ago. That title. Oh, yeah. And um, the next one is Chasing Christmas Eve. Uh, probably around Christmas. I yeah. Guess. I think it's late September, which I think is odd, but people apparently... Well, they'll still be just devouring it come Christmas. So. Uh, let's hope so. Yeah. So how many do you usually do a year? Three. Three? Three. And I'm... I'm doing two mass markets for the Heartbreaker Bay, and I'll be doing one trade every okay. year. See, that was my plan, and then I ended up with, I, yeah, well, I, you know, I lost count, I don't know. A gazillion. Too many, yeah, it was crazy. I don't know how you do it. So, oh, I, I don't either, so okay. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> let's stop that right now. Yeah, let's, That's nonsense. Right here, we're going to lay down the line right here. Jill, thank you so much for thank joining you for having us. Me. I look forward to spending the rest of the event with you. I'm sure we'll have lots of pictures. We'll have a great we'll be floating time. Around. Yes, thank you so much. You're welcome. Story to tell.